This is the second tutorial for introduction to Xcode. And, and where we left off was we actually created a project and you came to a screen that looks like this. I'm not going to really describe what's going on in this screen. During this tutorial, we'll come back to this. This stuff is more important later when you want to actually um, submit your app to the App Store. Uh, right now, we don't really need to do anything with this screen. I do want to take your attention to the main.storyboard file over here on the left. When you click on that, you'll notice um, you have an empty iPhone screen here. This is where we're going to build the visual layout of our app. Uh, one thing I want to bring your attention to, if you, you click on this little um, paper icon here, that's the file inspector, um, while you have the storyboard selected, you notice that by default, auto layout is checked. You want to uncheck that. Okay, We're not going to use auto layout. Um, and I'm not a big fan of auto layout. Maybe you want to play around with it and see if it works for you. But basically, it's a little thing that um, Apple built in to accommodate for changing screen size between the 3.5 inch screen and the 4 inch screen. And it kind of auto shifts your um, uh, structures on your page, images and buttons and things. Uh, I like to take care of that manually myself, so I, I uncheck that. Um, I think you'll find uh, it's the better way to go. Um, so uh, on that note, I also want to bring your attention. There's a, a website um, that this guy, uh, David Smith, um, maintains that basically um, has stats for how many... Um, iPads and iPhones out there use which version and all that kind of stuff. This is kind of handy to look at because it'll help you kind of decide, um, you know, how you're going to um, build your app. For instance, you know, there's this thing we need to do, which we'll get into later, about you have to build two different images, one for non-retina screens and one for retina screens. Um, now, this number is getting a little lower here. Uh, it's about 25% are non-retina, 75% are retina. So you might say, you know what, 75% is a threshold that I'm I'm good with. I'm just going to build for this group and not so much for that group. You know, that's that's decision you have to make. But you have these stats at your disposal, which which help you there. Uh, I recommend 25% is still a pretty big group that you would um, build for them as well. Um, and Apple forces you to in some respects for your load image and your app icon. You have to have um, multiple versions of each. Uh, we'll get into that when we get to that part of the tutorial. So anyway, let, let's take a look at the um, storyboard here. Uh, I want to start building this up for our app. Because remember, we s said we were going to build this um, dice app. And we talked about this. Actually, it's a coin toss dice roll app. And we're going to focus on the coin toss part to start out with. And Let's do a couple things. You notice over here we have this, um, what are called objects that we can put on the storyboard. And I'm going to do a little search here for a label. I'm just going to put that in. That pops up. And I'm going to throw this up here. And this is going to be the double click. And you can start typing. We'll say um, coin toss dice roll. And as you move this around, you notice you get that little line there, lets you know it's centered, right? Um, I'm going to leave that right there. Uh, I'm also going to put some buttons on here, though, as well. Let's go with, uh, let's just type in button here. And the top one's the one we want. We're just going to pop this in here and we'll say coin toss. And we'll put another one that says. Um, dice roll. And again, you can center these as best you can. There you go. Um, right now, these are not doing anything. We're going to build another view controller, though, that we'll link this to. So this is our home screen. Um, we're going to want to create a our second one, which is going to be our coin toss screen. So I'm going to Get rid of there, and you notice the top one here is View Controller. We can drag out a View Controller, which is basically another screen, drop it, and there we, this is going to be our coin toss. 
um, screen. So again, let's put a label here. And we'll just come up here and say coin toss. And I'm just going to show you some basics of how we can um, go back and forth here. Let's um, actually, I'm not going to put that, I'm going to put a button in here. And this will say So we have our coin toss button here. If I hold down the control key and drag over, see we get this, and you just drop it on the other screen, and we're going to go with modal. Uh, we'll get into the difference between these right now, but you have the option of modal or push. We didn't create a navigation controller. We're going to do that in the next tutorial. But right now we're just going to click that, and you notice we have a, um, a little seg here to this screen. And... I'm going to actually hold down this one, drag back here, and do modal there. And so this is going to allow us to go back and forth. So for the first time now, I'm going to click the little play button here, which will bring up the simulator, the, I, the iPhone simulator. And you see we have our, our home screen here. And if I click on coin toss, it brings up the coin toss screen. If I click home, it goes back to the home screen, and so on and so on. Um, so that's just some basic navigation. Um, we're going to uh, optimize this, though, creating a navigation controller in the next app. Thank you.